For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm going to be using the Shape Piers Soft Fun in the color Capri and also a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, but you can use whichever hook and yarn you prefer. A pair of scissors and a darning needle will also come in handy for sewing in your ends. As always, I'll leave all the links in the description box of everything that you need and the link to the written pattern. Okay, let's get started. To begin, you want to create your slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook. And we're going to start off with a foundation chain and we'll do this in a multiple of three plus two for turning. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. That's three. And then one, two, three, make six. And then you'll carry on in this multiple of three until you get to your desired width of your project. So go ahead, pause the video, continue your chain in a multiple of three, and then meet me back once you're ready. So I've now done my foundation chain for my sample piece, and I've done 24 stitches, which is a multiple of three. I'm now going to add an additional two for our turning chain one and two. So for row one of this pattern, we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So not the one that's on the hook, we have one and two, and then this is the third chain. So we're going to double crochet, which is a UK term in the US, this is known as a single crochet. We'll go straight into that stitch, and then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. We're then going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to double crochet into the same chain that we've just worked into. So into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to have a pattern repeat, which we're going to work all the way along. And this pattern repeat starts off by skipping two chains, one and two. Then into the next chain, we're going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into that same chain. Repeat that again, skip two chains, double crochet, chain two and double crochet into that same chain. So you're going to repeat that all the way across until you have two chains remaining. So pause the video, work that pattern repeat and then meet me back once you're ready. So I'm now at the end of this row and I have two chains remaining. And what we're going to do here is skip a chain and then we're going to do a half treble crochet into that last stitch. So that's a UK term. In the US, this is known as a half double. So it's yarn over, go into that last stitch or chain, yarn over, pull through three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And there we have row one. For row two, we're going to turn our work, chain three, one, two, and three, that counts as a treble crochet. We're going to skip the next stitch. So because this is a treble crochet, we don't count this one that's classed as that stitch. So skip the next stitch, and then work three trebles into this chain two space. So a treble crochet is a UK term. In the US, this is known as a double crochet. Yarn over into that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, and three. We then have a pattern repeat. So we're going to skip the next two stitches. So we have a stitch here, and then a stitch here one and two. And then directly after that second stitch, we'll find that chain two space. 
and we're going to go ahead and do three treble crochets into that chain two space. One, two, and three. And that is our pattern repeat. So essentially we're just doing three treble crochets into that chain two space. So it's skip two stitches, three treble crochets. One, two, and three. Skip two stitches and then three treble crochets into the chain two space. So you're going to work your way all the way along right into your last chain two space, working those three trebles into each of those spaces and then meet me back once you're ready. So once you've worked your way all the way across this is what your work should look like. We're now going to finish off this row by working a treble crochet into this last stitch, which is actually the turning chain. So the, the missed um, chains that we did right at the very beginning, that's where we're going to work into. So treble crochet into that last stitch. And there we have row two. So we want to go ahead and turn our work for row three, we're going to chain two, and that's going to count as a half treble, which is half double in the US. Because that counts as a stitch, we ignore this one for now. We skip the next stitch, and then we're going to do a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the next stitch. And it works out to be the center treble of these stitches just here. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So exactly the same as what we were doing when we were working into the chain, but now we're working into the stitches. We're then going to skip two stitches and then work our pattern repeat. So the pattern repeat is double crochet, chain two, double crochet, into that central treble, skip two stitches, double crochet, chain two, and then double crochet into that same stitch. Skip two stitches and then continue the pattern repeat. Work that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. So bearing in mind, you're going to do double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and skip two stitches. So you'll have these three stitches remaining here. So pause the video, work your way to the end, and then meet me back once you're ready. So now you're at the end of this row, you're going to, you'll have skipped these two stitches. You're going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into that next stitch. And then you're going to skip a stitch and then work a half treble into the remaining stitch. So that is the turning chain just here. That was counting as a stitch. So half treble crochet into that stitch. And that is the end of row three. So from here, row two and three are a pattern repeat. So you can rewind to row two if you need to and continue the, uh, the pattern repeat. But from here, what we would do is chain three, which would, would count as a treble. You'd skip those two stitches and then go ahead and do your three treble crochets into that chain two space, just as I showed you before. So rewind, as I say, if you need the repeats for those two rows. So here we have the stitch um, and that's been repeated row two and three four times and it looks really, really beautiful. It's such a beautiful and easy stitch to do. So if you like this stitch, you might also enjoy this one.